We want to hit powerful attacks. Don't tell me you don't want to have hard attacks and surf. So to achieve that, uh, we are training and doing uh, shoulder and other exercises, but that's not enough. If you want to hit hard, uh, you need to develop and uh, strengthen your core. That's why in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to 10 great uh, core exercises you haven't seen or practiced before. When we hit, uh, we use muscles from the sole of our fruit uh, to the muscles at the tip of our fingertips in our attacking hand. Our body, whether you are um, 180 cm or 2 meters 10, is all involved. Almost every muscle affects the power of our hit. So forget about thinking that only a strong arm or lifting uh, 100 kg on the bench uh, press will be enough for your heart attacks. The biggest muscle groups uh, will help you the most. And the abs and core are among our biggest muscles. That's why we need to use them as much as uh, possible in attack. I'm not going to list all of these uh, muscles here, but one thing uh, is sure. If you have a weak core, your attacks and serve will be weak. Why do we need a strong and solid core? In volleyball, we spend a lot of time in the air, jumping on attacks, on blocks, on serves, and we are often without the support of the ground. The core is uh, center of our body and controls our movements in the air. I know a lot of players who had a great ability to attack hard, uh, jump high and hit hard on the ground. But once they got in the air, their attacks were much weaker. The reason was clear. They didn't have a strong and solid core. They had uh, nothing to rely on in the air. That's why it's not enough for us to train and strengthen uh, our arm and leg muscles only. But we must also focus on our core. This will not only help us with our attack, but working on these exercises will ensure you have a lot less uh, problems with back muscles or strength ups that you may encounter in volleyball. On the other hand, I'm not saying that a volleyball player has to have a sculpt muscles like a bodybuilder or he won't be attacking hard. That's not our goal. We want our core not to be our weakness uh, and instead uh, we should be able to literally lean on it for our attacks and serves. But end of theory, let's take a look at my 10 unconventional but very effective core exercises. Again, the vast majority of the exercises can be practiced at home. No need to go to the gym or wait for your team practice. Also, after introducing these exercises, I will tell you how often and how many reps uh, you should do. But one thing I forgot, stretching. Again, we need to warm up and stretch our core muscles before exercising. So take a moment to do some stretching like this. Start with an exercise using a volleyball or it can be another ball you have at home. Clasp the ball between your ankles, lie on your back, uh, put your hands under your butt and slowly lift your slightly bent legs up and down with the ball. Trying to keep the ball between the ankles, this also engages the muscles on your inside of the tights but mainly works the lower up muscles. An exercise that engages the upper ups uh, is this one. It's an exercise I learned in Argentina and I have been practicing it regularly even since. Now a medicine ball, dumbbell or an object weighing between 3 to 5 kilograms will help us. We are lying on the ground uh, with our legs slightly bent. The medicine ball is held above us in our outstretched hands. We begin to lift ourselves up with the medicine ball in our arms, uh, which are still outstretched, as if we are about to perform an overhead set. We'll get to a roughly vertical position and slowly lower ourselves down. In the beginning, uh, just do 10 reps. Now stand at a wall, holding a medicine ball or at first a ball in front of you in your bent hands. Our knees are slightly bent. We start the movement by touching the wall with the medicine ball on one side and immediately follow up uh, with the movement and the touch on the other side. You can also use a variation where you touch only one side of the wall and your movement will end in front of your body. This way you can focus in isolation on one side of the core.
The side plank is a classic exercise that many teams and volleyball players do. We are adding uh, throwing a tennis ball on the ground or dribbling a volleyball. If you are confident and have a good technique, uh, you can also set the volleyball with one hand above your body. And we come to my favorite exercise that I do even with the younger kids. We sit on the medicine ball. We rest our hands on the ground behind our bodies and lift our legs. Our legs are slightly bent and uh, we are trying to maintain stability. Once we find the perfect position, we raise one arm and immediately you will feel a difficult exercise for coordination and stability is coming on. It's not easy to stay in this position for 10 seconds or more. We are sitting on an unstable aid, leaning on one arm only. On the other hand, we are engaging almost every muscle in the core. You are also probably familiar with the plank. I add an upward hand movement. We are leaning on one arm and our body is stable. We don't bend. The hand that we lift up, we draw a semicircle and roll up. After each hand movement, we switch hands. Again, almost all ups and our core is engaged. Next exercise is this one. We are going to raise our legs to about 90 degree angle, arms extended. Raise the torso with the arms, uh, touch the tops of your feet and hold this static position for about 3 seconds. Then slowly move downwards and continue with the next repetitions. 10 slow repetitions uh, will be enough in the beginning. An unconventional variation of the plank is an exercise in which we pull our legs in while our opposite hand touches a knee of this moving leg. The classical Russian twist is similar to this exercise, but now we don't have uh, the body raised and uh, the legs up. We are lying on the ground, our legs are bent. We touch the ground next to our ankles and in front of us with a medicine ball. With each movement we lie on our back uh, and then make a movement uh, with the medicine ball to side in front of you and to other side. One of the ultimate exercise, in my opinion, is a variation of the plank in which we have our feet on the medicine ball. Now we have uh, no solid support and our core has to work hard to keep us from falling to the ground or touching the ground with our feet. As I promised, I will also tell you how often you should do these exercises and how many repetitions to do. If you go to the gym regularly, core exercises should be part of every workout you do in the gym. If you don't have access to the gym or your team workouts aren't going on right now, I recommend you do them at least twice a week. Exercising twice a week will ensure you maintain your core and abs strength at average level or current level. If you feel that your core is not what it should be and you need to strengthen it so that your attacks and serves gain more speed, dedicate yourself to core exercise three times a week. I definitely don't recommend doing these exercises several days in a row or every day. These are demanding exercises after which your core needs time to rest and recover. Your goal should be to get to about 200 reps during this core workout. 
That means uh, pick uh, 3 to 5 of these exercises, do 3 to 4 sets of 10 to 20 reps or 30 seconds of static exercise. If you do static exercise, count 30 seconds as a 1 set of dynamic rep exercise with 10 reps. Change the exercise after a while so that it's a constant boost to your core and doesn't become an automatism that your body and muscles get used to. So I believe that uh, these uh, 10 core exercises will help you attack harder hits and uh, you will become a better volleyball player. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.